Anubis, a novel by Bidwell Moore. From the musty depths of a 4,000-year-old tomb, an eerily potent Anubis, guardian god of deceased pharaohs, broods protectively over the 13th dynasty king Ra-Hetep's last resting place. The preface introduces Princess Nefernik, the barbarian Hyksos chieftain Salatus, and the recently deceased pharaoh Ra-Hetep, to whom the young princess had been betrothed. Boldly, the girl princess deceives Salatus, Egypt's new ruler, who seeks the king's tomb and the lifetime accumulation of gold that he knows to be interred with the royal corpse. Though the 13-year-old princess cannot herself elude the grasping fingers of Egypt's new pharaoh, her testament makes clear her success in rising from harem chatel to queenly equality with her fearsome mate, whose priceless gift to the future mother of his heirs provides the tail-end kicker to the 20th century tale that is the novel's substance. The story opens with a visit by a wily Greek entrepreneur to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where he meets with his Alexandrian Greek Egyptologist. To Kurt Savage's surprise, Dr. Thearchus is a stunningly attractive young woman. Savage, whom Craterus, the entrepreneur, has hired for a mysterious Mediterranean assignment, decides to ignore a California summons by his agent in favor of his new commitment and the opportunity to see more of the lovely Sophia Thearchus. Trouble begins that evening with a hotel mugging of Craterus that the very physical Kurt Savage succeeds in nullifying. The hazards of the Mediterranean shore, gun running for the benefit of an oil-rich Arab sheik from whom Craterus expects lucrative shipping rights, dwarf the New York unpleasantness. The action shifts to the sheik's yacht and then Egypt where the ingenious Dr. Thearchus, aided by the papyrus testament of Queen Nefernik, is on the trail of Rahetep's tomb, whose artifacts will provide the clinching argument to Craterus' plans. The Sheik is an avid collector of Mideast antiquities. Finding herself beset by many contrary forces, and herself on the prize list of objects promised Sheik Hamid, Sophia accepts Savage's offer of assistance in pursuing the fascinating search for an unplundered tomb at the same time that she hopes to outwit Craterus, who has been using blackmail to secure her cooperation in the proposed plundering of a national treasure. Sophia's twin sister, a belly dancer, Craterus's embittered former partner, Hamid's Machiavellian aide, Sala, a refugee Ethiopian prince, and his hot-blooded sister, the former a Sophia suitor and the latter in thrall to Savage, an erudite black American hit theme targeted on Savage, and a majestic West African politician who makes the ultimate bid for Sophia, our primary among the cosmopolitan cast of characters whose actions constitute the plot's twists and turns through the byways of Luxor, once the upper kingdom's capital Thebes. Anubis, by Bidwell Moore, is available from Jones Harvest Publishing.